Hello Pisces, hope you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Just to let you know, I lay the cards out first, giving a brief description of the cards. After I've laid the cards out, then I will read the cards. So, you know, it's just like giving you a little clip, a little look into what you're going to get. And then I read the cards properly. Okay, so, you know, keep watching till the end. Because in the end, I also pull out a manifestation card, which helps you to manifest what your desire is for the week. Right at the bottom, you've got the Eight of Cups. Okay, so with the Eight of Cups, you've got the moon there. So it's an illusion. If you look, there are Eight Cups there. But... It looks like there's one missing, but there's not. There's eight cups there. But you're walking away because you just like, you can't see. You can't see the truth. Okay, guys, that's the eight of cups. Then we've got the magician as the first card. So that can mean several things, but at the moment, it's just like the magician. You've got all the tools of the trade, and you've got the Knight of Wands, so I feel there's going to be something you're going to be doing quite fast. And you're being told to get on with it. Then we've got the Three of Wands with the King of Wands. So the Three of Wands is you looking into the future, okay, looking how far you've come, because you're amazed at how well you've done. But you're also looking at the past. Okay, there's also going to be communication around you at this time. What it's about, I don't know. Then you've got the Page of Swords with the star. See, with the Page of Swords, you know, you're... Okay, it's a rude child, okay? There's a rude child around you. And, you know, you're hoping that that child's going to have, you know, a better lifestyle. You need to help that child. Okay, that child does need help. He, I think it's more manners this child needs to learn. He was never brought up to know the manners. If you get what I mean. Wow. Okay, we've got Temperance. <coughs> Sorry. There's something that you need to try. You need to try a new strategy, possibly on the child. Oh dear, we've got Ten of Swords, Stab in the Back. This is coming to an end though, guys. So I feel in the past that, you know, you were cruelly treated... And it's coming to an end. Yeah, look, you got the world. So, in the past, you were cruelly treated. It's coming to an end. You've got the Ten of Wands. You couldn't take any more. Maybe you left home, walked out. Because you, you felt battered and bruised emotionally as well. Now, you've got the moon. Okay, that's an illusion. You can't quite see how you're going to have this win because you're going to have a victory you've got the knight of coins so you are a really hard worker you're not scared to work and you're a type of person who will stand your ground you've got the page of swords so you're you're learning you're 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 learning but you're not you need to learn you need to read the small print Okay, you've got the Six of Swords, so there's 
you're walking away and you're leaving something behind. You, you've got the Three of Wands, which is moving forward. Could even be a holiday. Then you've got the Three of Cups. With Three of Cups, it's like you're getting together with people you love, friends, family, and having a good old chinwag. Right, let's read the cards. Now you've got the Magician with the Knight of Wands. So I feel that in the past, you've had to learn things fast. You've had to do things fast. You weren't the type of person in the past to hang around and wait. You had a stab in the back by someone or something, someone, you know, but it's a new road, okay? You, you had to leave the past behind you because it was so hectic, drove you crazy, and it emotionally bruised you, you know? And you've got no energy. But some of you are eating those kebabs. Some of you are eating those kebabs for energy. Well, they don't give you energy, guys. <laughs> right. Then we've got the Three of Wands. Was that the Three of Wands? Oh, yeah, twice. Was it? I can't see. Is that the two or three? Yeah, it's the three. So you've got the Three of Wands and the King of Wands. So with the Three of Wands, there is going to be communication, okay? Whether it comes in the form of a letter, email, phone call, I don't know. But it's going to be from a mail, right? It actually could be someone from your past. But you've got the moon. The moon is an illusion, okay? So it's not always as it seems. So if you assume something, careful, because you could have it wrong. But there is a new path for you. And that path will lead you to success. You do need to work hard and you're being told to make sure you stand your ground. Okay, you've got to make sure you stand your ground. So, you know, don't let people laugh at you. You get on and do what you think's best. Because by standing your ground, you will succeed in what you're trying to do. You've got the Page of Swords. So like I said, I feel this is a child with a quick temper. And you're being told you need to calm this child down. Okay, this child is becoming very rude. And I, I feel that they need to study more. Or there's something you need to look up about it. Okay, this, this child could end up by making you move house. Okay, could by seriously make you move house. But you will be leaving something behind. So I'm not sure what you'll be leaving behind. But there's something. I do feel that there will be some sort of move for you. Where you will make some good friends. Okay, you will make some good friends in this new place. Okay, at the moment you just got the Eight of Swords. So I feel everything is chaos around you. The it's like everyone crying, screaming, shouting. Okay, it keeps you up at night. It just keeps you up at night. You can't take it anymore. And I'm not blaming you. <laughs> oh my God, guys, you really can't take it anymore. Okay, but there is a female energy out there. Okay, who is a very loving, kind person. This person will help you. Okay, this person will help you. So you need to seek her out. This feminine energy, you need to seek them out because they will help you. Right, it's going to be something happening within a few days. So you've got a few days. Yeah, there's lots of loud screaming and shouting around you, like I said, right? You feel like you're being used by others. They're just using you. You feel blocked. Like you can't, you just can't move on. If you want to get outside, you, you miss that. It's like you miss the fresh air. 
that's what I'm feeling. You need to get evidence, okay? Document everything, guys, if it's not you, right? You need handling with care, okay? But you also need to handle this situation with care. Be very careful with it, okay? You need to question everything. Just keep questioning everything. Yeah, there's a lot of emotions, up and down emotions. And someone's trying to make a joke out of you. That's very similar to the Knight of Coins. It's very similar. He's trying to make a joke out of you. So the job you're doing, it's like they're laughing at you and taking the piss, if you like. You feel like you're in prison and stuck in prison, you know? And sometimes you do have to steal in order to get food, maybe. Okay, but be very careful, right? Because you might get caught. Okay? You know, the, I feel that maybe you should be doing YouTube. Maybe you should be doing YouTube or TikTok. Okay? Keep away from the drugs and everything. Okay? Hide in a vehicle if you have to. And then you've got the initial D for David Daniel Donna, Derek, Debbie. Delilah. And you've got the initial U. I don't know. I have no idea on U's. Evander. Uriel. I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. One of the, one of these cards are in here, but you're gonna need justice. You're gonna want justice. Right at the bottom, it's fate, divine intervention. Detroit, you need to have some divine intervention, guys. You really do. Vulnerability. Guard yourself. You feel vulnerable. Oh, some of you are suffering from headaches. Yeah, especially sort of like slightly on the right hand side. Soul ties, reunion. Oh, I think I said there might be a reunion. I can't remember. Transformation. You need to transform. You will do. Rebirth. It'll happen in winter, guys. You'll re do it in winter. Because we planted the seed now, so you'll do it. Right, I want you to think of a question that you want the answer to. Let's see if I can't answer it for you. The TVs have formed a clover. Indisputably, yes. Your card is the Seven of Diamonds. My, you're feeling um, ambitious. Oh, that's good. At the bottom of your cup is the shape of a cat. Don't obsess about it and it will come to you. Oh, sorry, guys. Don't obsess about it and it will come to you. Okay. Now we're going to do the oh, manifestation. Oh. Thoughts become things. Ask for what you want by merely thinking about it, and immediately the universe sets about moving people, circumstances, and events for you to receive it. Your only job is to keep holding it in your mind until it's in your hands. There you go, guys. Ask for what you want.
by merely thinking about it, and immediately the universe sets about moving people, circumstances, and events for you to receive it. Do you know that all of a sudden I can imagine God is like playing chess with us. Oh, well, Portia wants a million pounds, so we need to move that there, move that there, move that there. Oh, dear, Portia did that, so we now have to move back here because we can't get her to get that because she's blocked it. I can just imagine that. You know, <laughs> oh, good grief, my brain. Anyways, guys, I hope that's helped. As always, stay truthful, be happy, and love and sparkles, Scooby-Doo.